Hi guys, occasionally I end up posting videos on totally random games that I'm not known to play, uh, like I did a video on Dota and one on Terror Online before. Uh, well today it's going to be Warso, it's a game that I've played roughly on and off for about 4-5 or five years. Uh, it's not a new game, it's uh, rather old, but what it has is constant updates from the developers, so basically every single time I remember about Warso and download it, it surprises me with the amount of new features and updates it's had. Uh, if you're a Twitch shooter fan, you've most likely played or heard of Warso, uh, but to put it basic, it's uh, like a cell shaded version of Quake, but in my opinion with faster be and better movement. Uh, I downloaded it again today because I was sitting here thinking about the lack of FPS games uh, for competition and just in general and I was really surprised uh, how little people still play this game, like it's such a small number, um, especially when it's so eSport viable and basically made for it. Uh, so I'm going to go give a quick uh, overview of the game and its features and then let you watch me play a one versus one duel game. Uh, there is a couple of other game types uh, but you'll have to explore them yourself or I might make another video on it at a later date. Uh, I also got, forgot to mention that this game is completely free. It literally took me about two minutes to download from their site, install, set up and start playing. Also this video isn't me basically telling you that this is the next big eSport game because frankly although it has the potential to be, uh, it has been out for a while and for some reason it hasn't. Uh, I'm surprised it hasn't. Uh, but I'm just a single person, I can't really make things like that happen. Uh, but as we're aware there are a lack of good FPS games on the PC at the moment so I'm just going to share this with you and if you're interested in it to hop on with friends and play or maybe who knows start some kind of movement then feel free. So getting started you can obviously see here there's a news page which has all the latest stuff posted by the developers. Uh, these include the likes of cups and so on. Uh, developer support for esports is something that's majorly lacked in big titles this is great. Uh, you've got your uh, average game browser but as you can see literally nobody seems to be playing at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, you've got your local game, basically your land mode versus bots etc. you also got here, which is nice, it's a demo function, uh, something that COD4 lacked massively, where you can basically uh, record or auto record and then you can just watch them back with like time functions. you got a profile thing to sign up to the site, your chat is... Um, like a, it goes to QuakeNet, anyone who used to play ProMod ages ago and used COD4.Wars etc to find games will be familiar with how QuakeNet works. Uh, you've then got your options which offer your standard stuff, your character here you can change and also change the colours, put your name in and so on. With your HUD you can customise quite a lot, you can change like what HUD type you want which will display differently. Uh, your FOV, you know, just standard things that you would need in an FPS game. With your video, it's just again your standard settings. Uh, I'm just going to play our maximum settings because I think it looks quite nice. And then your controls, which is just your movement, your weapon bindings, and etc. So I'm just going to try and hop into a game now to show you what it looks like. Um, I'm not really familiar with half of these maps to be honest because I haven't played for quite a time so well I could probably just click any of these. I'll just go with this one because it looks nice. So yeah once in you basically just join up. I'm just playing by myself. I could have set a bot uh, to play against me and the bots have different modes like easy, medium, hard. Um, so yeah just moving around the map. The game is very fluent when you move. Uh, it's probably its biggest factor as it is like a, you know, similar to Quake, like a twitch shooter. Um, the, in this game the movement I think is better because you can um, like jump off walls and so on. But yeah, as I said, this game is similar to Quake. I prefer the dual mode, so it's one versus one. Uh, pickups, weapons, health, armor, etc. Um, nearly every map I've played on this is perfect for dual gameplay. Um, but with all the record functions you can set custom cameras as splines um, and so on. As I said the game was basically made for esports. Um, if I go onto this level here because I know it's there and I can show you uh, there's a board in game which changes. Uh, this is on some of the maps, if, maybe, if not all of them, I haven't checked all of them. And it displays the cups and league information to everybody and this is always updated. So the game basically just has all the functions or at least most of the functions that's needed to be a popular esport game but it just lacks the players over the years. Um, at the moment, which is sad. I've asked multiple people today what they thought about Warsaw and none of them had even heard of it, uh, which encouraged me to make this video. 
The game is on Steam Greenlight, which is basically a platform where people can vote which games they would like to see on the actual Steam. Um, it's for upcoming games, etc. It's been on there twice as far as I know, but failed. Wow, trust me to get a bot named Pervert. Um, anyway, it failed twice to make it onto Steam for more exposure. So if I can help that in any way, that'd be great. Because um, I'm all up for esports, Twitch shooters, etc. Uh, so I put the link for it in the description, and all it would do is take five seconds to click the link and then like the game, or whatever. So yeah, this is just a quick overview um, of the game. Summed up, it's a free Twitch shooter game, years old, but isn't very popular for some reason. Would take you five minutes to get if you wanted to play it. Uh, download link and all the info for the game is in the description. Um, I'm just going to put me playing a duel versus somebody today from here on. So, see you later. And also tell me what you think of the game in the comments if you played it, or if you'd like to see more gameplay of it, or if you even like the game. I'm